What is going on guys, MJ2005 again here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Real Grade P-Bandai Armed Armor V and Armed Armor BS extension set. So, these are basically the extension weapons for the Banshee Norn. I managed to find this in an underground shop, and yeah, they, they cost me quite a bit. They cost me 250 Hong Kong dollars, but in the end, the results... Uh, they are mixed like I have to say they are mixed but by themselves they do look pretty cool but there is one huge issue with the arm over VN already the top claws the top pieces of the claws they are pegged on plastic on plastic thus they are very very loose I played with them for like two to three times just trying to open and close them and understand them but after all of that they start to come loose so a closed position and an open position is practically hard to set up unless you use something to tighten the joints up. Now for the Art Armor BS however, this does look pretty cool. I like how it looks and I like how the cuff isn't that conspicuous at all. So it can just sit there naturally. But there is this one catch when you're trying to attach it to the Banshee or any Unicorn Gundam mold. Hot real grade. Just because you need to take off these pieces over here. So it is unlike the high grade where you just plop them into the shield connectors. So yeah, you will have to do a little bit more preparation more than I would initially like to. But you basically just replace the original pieces with the armed armor pieces. So you just peg them like this. so. There's the VN. And then the, the BS, you have to obviously take it apart. And that's why I didn't connect it fully and purposefully left a seam right there so that I could pry it open later on and customize it because the primary purpose of me getting this thing is to make the real great unicorn gun perfectibility when the Fenex comes out so yeah that this is some um, ambitious plan but yeah at least I have all the parts now what considering that the Fenex will be released later on so here is the Armed Armor V and an Armed Armor BS equipped onto the Banshee in Unicorn mode. And I have to say, it does amp up the look. Now, the catch is also a blessing because you can see that the shield holes are over here. So, you could practically arm this guy with the Armed Armor DE like so and it will not fall off. So, you can have all of the weapons on the Banshee like so. So, it isn't really that big of a catch. But there is one major hindrance that I would address right now. Is that when you're transforming the arms, you cannot get it to transform. Like, not at all. Because no matter if it is the VN or the BS, let's talk about the VN first. You have lost the point of grip when you're trying to transform the arms. Because I said that you need to grip in the arm guard over here and pull this thing out. It's impossible right now. And then for the BS, you cannot flip this part open, which unlocks the entire mechanism, which is a bummer, so you have to flip it forward, which, by the way, it is pretty nice. The I may have intentionally left a wider gap over here, but the cuff over here does cuff over trigger finger hands because they are generally larger than the standard fists. So... It is nice that you can cuff over them, just so you do not need to switch out the hands for the flipping to happen. But this part is exposed now, and the same thing happens here. You have lost the points of grip over here. So if you want to grip the handcuff, you grip the actual gun itself. So you are basically counteracting the force that you need to pull it apart. So it is impossible to transform the arm with these on, which is a very major disappointment. But to some extent, I absolutely expected that to happen. So yeah, let me go through the torture's transformation process and show you what they're really capable of. So BRB. So here is the Banshee transformed with the weapons attached. Now as I did say, leave the weapons off when you transform the arms because it's going to be impossible when you put them on. So for the arm armor VN, you basically extend it from the ball joints and bend the top claw out. Same goes to the other side. And then the bottom one, you extend the bottom one like so. So you, there is a multitude of different points. So ball joint joint on the top claw and the bottom claw you have the double joint over here and then you have the bend over here and then over here 
at the base. So there is a lot of posing possibilities with the VN. For the BS, you basically flip the gun forward and it goes over any hand except for the open hands perfectly and they just extend them. And you can see the elaborate amount of detail in here. So there are V's over here, there is layers to the different layers of cycle frame over here. It, it just looks very very nice and it is a step up from the high grade definitely. It's not just like Bandai only make this transformable and not add in any more detail. So it is a very very nice addition to the guns and the claw over here. And if you get this set, you do also get a Marida Crudes figurine. So you could display the Banshee with her. And with this, the Armed Armor DE is gonna be a little bit tricky. Not actually, the shield itself is gonna be very, very tricky to mount on. But if you do not extend the claws out to the fullest extent, you can still mount the Armed Armor DE onto the arm. So if you replace the beam sabers, which I did replace for the uh, Armed Armor XC, if you leave the Armed Armor XC on, you would practically have a half perfect ability. All you need is another Armed Armor DE, the connection piece for the dual Armed Armor DEs like the Fenex, and then the Hyper Beam Javelin, and also the Unicorn Gundam. So we are almost there. So if you want to create a perfect ability, this is the closest that you can get before the Fenex comes out because you would need the joints. But anyways, I digress. These do look pretty good, but with all the issues that come with the Unicorn Gundam mold itself, especially because of the tightness of the uh, arms, you are not going to get too many dynamic poses without putting it at risk. And also, the Arm Armor VN over here, all the parts, like especially the top claws, is extremely loose. So you would need to apply some extra work in order to tighten up the joints so that it would not fall off instantaneously when you try to put it, pose it. So that's it. So I would recommend you guys to get this set, albeit you have to put in a little bit of extra work to tighten these joints up. But if you're aiming for the perfect ability or if you just want some extra armaments on your Banshee, this set is the one to get if you somehow could find it online or in some local store. So that's it for me. I would put this at a 7 out of 10. So that's the new ranking system here. Uh, X out of 10. So this is 7 out of 10. So I would, I do recommend you guys to get this thing if you could somehow find it. So that's besides the point. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunpla reviews, Gunpla news, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to the featured channels on my channel page if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys. Bye bye.